It was an historic evening in downtown Youngstown as two central figures in the American Civil Rights Movement were together in the same room. They were at the Tyler History Center for the Simeon Booker Award for Courage. One was an honoree, the other was there for support. Sarah Collins Rudolph was injured in September of 1963 when 19 sticks of dynamite exploded at Birmingham, Alabama's 16th Street Baptist Church and one of the turning points of the civil rights movement. Her sister, Addie Mae Collins, was killed while helping friend Denise McNair, who also died. Denise walked over to her, my sister asked her to tie the sash on her dress. And by the time she reached her hand out like this to tie it, that's when the bomb went off. Collins Rudolph was in Youngstown this evening as a recipient of the Simeon Booker Award for Courage, sponsored by Mahoning Valley Sojourn to the Past. In the same room was Minnie Jean Brown Tricky, a previous Booker Award winner, who was one of the Little Rock Nine, who in 1957 integrated the all-white Little Rock Central High School in Arkansas. It's a moving, moving experience for me to be here, and I'm honored to be with her. On the third floor of the Tyler History Center, Collins Rudolph dined with some of the people honoring her, few noticing her prosthetic right eye, which she lost in the bombing, an eye that will not let her forget. When I look in the mirror and see that I have a prosthetic, I can't do nothing but remember. Sarah Collins Rudolph and Minnie Jean Brown Tricky had met before, and when they first saw each other this evening, they exchanged warm smiles. Brown Tricky was surprised that Collins Rudolph had been speaking of her experiences for only four years. So as a society, we ignored her for 45 years. And that brings to mind the issue of what we're going to teach our young people, how we're going to teach it, and how some people don't want us to teach it. Also this evening, honored with the Simeon Booker Award for Courage was humility of Mary's sister, Ann McManaman, for her work as director of Youngstown's Dorothy Day House. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.